Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and I've got just a really quick video here to share with you something very fun and funny. For those of you who don't know what goatee is, I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay, I went out to eat last week, and I came back, I brought some of my leftovers home in one of these styrofoam containers, just like this. And when I came in the door, my wife and my granddaughter were sitting there at the table and I showed it to them. And my granddaughter says, what is goatee? And I said, it's simple, just figure it out. G-H as in enough, O as in women, T-I as in nation. G-H, O, E, T, I, sh, fish, fish, it's fish. And I opened it up and I showed I had leftover fish in that goat container. And that was just a real fun thing to do. And I just thought you'd enjoy sharing that. Now let's get on to part two of this video, a little rant that I've got. Here's a video that I took earlier that you should take note of. This is one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen. I don't know what I'm going to do with this video, but I sure hope the people at the planters company see it. You can see here, We've got this tub, two pounds of what is supposed to be whole cashews. But really, take a look at this. We're halfway done. Does that look like whole cashews to you? Let me show you something. Let's get the lid off of it here. There it goes. Now I'm gonna dig in there and get some of these cashews. And this is what is supposed to be whole cashews. Look at that. Isn't that the stupidest thing you've ever heard? What is there? Maybe one, two, or three, a whole handful of cashews, and there's maybe three that are whole. That's ridiculous. Why are they selling them as whole cashews and charging us for whole cashews when all it is is just chunks and pieces and shreds and powder? Ridiculous. Don't you agree? Now, I don't know about you, but any company that advertises whole cashews and then serves you nothing but powder and pieces to me, that's something that ought to be reported to the Federal Trade Commission as false advertising. Now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this, but if anybody knows somebody in the upper echelons of the Planters Nut Company, you should show them this video and have them do something about it. And if I do something about it and they respond, I'll let you know in a later video. But that's all I got. Thanks everybody, have yourself a wonderful rest of your day and give me the thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, you know what to do. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.